My name's Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. That's a good girl, where is it? I wonder if we should put her up here or we should just save it for the next guys who come. This spot is such a cool highway. Okay guys, you can get out. Oh yeah, she's really marking it. Yeah, there's something down there. It might be just a muskrat, it might be a raccoon. I mean, there's a chance it's a beaver as big as it is. Okay, Olive, I want you to stay up a little bit in case this is something big. This hole was quite deceiving because the entrance appeared to be very large, but once the dog started trying to go down there, it became clear that it was a lot tighter than it looked. Um, as you can see here, even little Gypsy can't fit down this hole. So it made me realize, you know what, this must just be a muskrat or a brown rat or something small that a mink could go after. So I decided to put the dogs away and pull out the mink. side hole they were most interested in. Oh, there's a muskrat right there. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's got it. No way. How in the heck did that happen? It stopped. Why did it stop? It just stopped in the It must have been like, holy crap, what happened to the entrance? <laughs> Why is it a little mascot made of giant holes? I think you're right. I think he's like, where's my entrance? Yeah. Because he was expecting heat and water, and then he's like, uh, wait, what? I thought Boone had him by the tail for a second. Because he just stopped. I was like, oh, Boone's got his tail. Can you see it at all? I see it now, but I don't think I got it because of the how bright it is and how dark it is in there. I was too far away thinking it was going to come out in the water. It just stopped. I thought Boone had him by the tail. I was like, oh, Boone's got him by the tail. And then his tail came past the entrance. I was like, well, that's not it, because there's his whole tail. Daddy, give him the whole thing. He did a good job.
being held out, or a, a pipe. Where is it? Yeah, right now there's a pipe. They always mark that, but I don't want them going down it. Yeah, let's not hit that, Leia. That's good, girl. That's good, dog. Where is it? That's uh, when Bindi grows up in front of pipe. Yeah. Good girl. <clears throat> Where is it, Leia? Good girl. Where is it? Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. You have Crockett today? Is he gonna let you put the stuff on? Ah. Are you gonna put the stuff on him? No. <laughs> no. I like my fingers. <laughs> okay, so we have Mr. Crockett today, and since I value my fingers, I'm not putting the heart, the, the collar on him. Now, I, I technically could, and I'd get away with it probably nine out of ten times. I've done that a lot. You know, physically restrain a mink, put something on him. But when the accident happens, it really hurts. And the biggest reason I'm not doing it is to not stress him out because they really hate being restrained like that. So I'm not going to worry about putting the, the collar on him. And uh, let's see if we can get a muskrat. Okay, let's see what's in there. That's a good girl. Oh, I see a trail coming up. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Good girl, Leia. Oh, there's a little one. Oh, two of them. There's two. A little one and a big one. Let's see if Crockett can handle the water. Like his big brother. Or his big brother. His brother. Crockett, come on. Don't worry about Leia. Leia, come here. Huh. Crockett went back in the hole. Yeah, I saw that. Where's the muskrat, Joe? What's that? Did the muskrat turn? I need my He's got one. He's got one. Perfect cash, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy cow. That was intense. There's the big one. That was crazy. He just brought it right to me. Good boy. There's another one. Is there another little one? There's an, there's another one that just came out underwater. No, oh, another one. There's oh, little there's ones everywhere. Ones. Holy crap, they were born early. They were they are everywhere. Yes. yes. We need to get do you have more mink what? in the yeah. back of the truck? Oh look. There it goes. There's another one over here. Catch him, Joe. <laughs> I've never seen one this this age. Oh, crap. I have never seen this, one this age. That must be the mom. This time of year, yeah, that's the mom. Poor dad. Look at this little guy. This is a weird time of year to have babies. Like, cause these guys are several weeks old, a month old maybe. There's the two over there, up ahead. Oh, there's another one. Where's the trap? Okay, I'm gonna. I wanna film this. One. <laughs> it's so cute.
Do we have, oh, I I forgot what you said. Do we have more mink? Yeah, have more. It's over there. No, that, that one is over there. Where'd it go, sweet girl? It's in that hole. It's in the hole? Mm -hmm. Good, Good job, job Benny. Benny. You're such a big helper. Whoa! Uh, that one going in the hole. Good last job. Bus. Was it a big one or a little one, Ella? A Ellie? big one. A big one. Okay. So we've got. He's got one. We've got four. That was a big one too that he got. So there were two big ones. No, no, he got a little one. There's another oh, he little got one. one. Well, Mr. Crockett did an amazing job. I mean, going in the hole and chasing out a muskrat and catching a, a little one's not that hard. The amazing thing he did was bring it back without even thinking twice. Yeah, it's a good job. Here's all the little ones we caught. Look at that. That is a bunch of little muskrats. Five in total, one caught by Crockett. Six is a pretty normal litter size, so I would guess that's probably them, all of them right there. But there easily could be one or two left. Like eight is also a pretty common litter size here in Utah. So between six and eight seems to be normal. Occasionally you'll get nine or 10, but six to eight is pretty normal litter size. So we could very well have every single one, or there's a chance that there's one or two left in there. My guess is not, I think we got them all but uh, we'll come hit it tomorrow. So you'll see, you know, as fast as they reproduce, how quickly they will fill this canal back up again. Um, see, under normal circumstances, if this was just uh, hunting for meat, I'd just leave the little ones alone and let them be. Now I'm sure you guys are familiar with YouTube censorship. They've got some serious censorship issues going on in YouTube and their policies are constantly changing. So I created the Mink Man's Exclusive Club, where I can share these exclusive videos as well as give you guys a more behind the scenes look at our lives and how we train our animals. In YouTube, you guys see one or two videos a week, whereas I'm typically posting anywhere from three to six videos a week on my Mink Man's Exclusive Club. Now this club is more than just videos. People can ask me questions directly. They could even send me private messages. I can also share interesting stories that maybe I didn't capture on video. I can share interesting statistics on my different mink or dogs and really just give you guys an inside look on what we do and on my animals' lives. I really appreciate you following me here on YouTube, but if you want to get a behind the scenes look and be able to watch these exclusive videos that YouTube censors out, you'll need to join us on Mink Man's exclusive club.